and we're back hello friends kano here let's take a look at what's going on now my father just left and we're supposed to do some stuff that he was supposed to do let's see Good morning has your father already left yep so we came here to find out about the jobs he left for us sure the total of three jobs I have lined up for you. The farm to the west of here. Isn't that where Tio is? Who is Tio? Tio? I seem to have heard a name somewhere before. Perzel. Oh, it's the milk place where she says that the milk is great. She says it. To the classmate on Sunday. She's also Brazil farm owner's daughter. Really? Brazil farm put a request to have us have someone exterminate some monsters. Are you really having problems like that? Fortunately, nobody has been hurt, but the owner and his family are upset over their fields being destroyed by the creatures. Yes, get to fight. Before a guild received an extermination request. Never would have expected something like that to happen. Okay, we'll head out there right now. Here, take this with you. Guild referral. Certifies that you were dispatched by the guild. Let's give it to the owner of the farm. We already know Tio's father pretty well. So I don't think it's necessary, but we'll take it just in case. Okay, so... Oh. Um... So I want to find my shiny rock, please speak to me directly for details. I think I might have dropped it behind the Melder's World Factory. And then this one... Ferocious monster, uh, no one's pine plant has been spotted roving the Milch Main Road. Verses from this branch are requested to deal with this threat immediately. Should I take those now? I think they're gonna stay here, I guess. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is... Yeah, so I'm, what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna figure this thing out. I am back. Um, turns out I don't have enough sapith to do anything, so never mind that. However, just in case, someone dropped something behind. Oh, it's really weird. Where could I have gone? Oh. Excuse me, but can I ask you something? You didn't see any shiny rock around here, did you? Huh? Shiny rock? That's right, what is sparkles? No. That would be shiny, yeah? You didn't see a rock like that lying around here, did you? Are you saying you lost something? I don't recall seeing anything like that. Do you know where you might have dropped it? My mom was calling for me, so I ran over to the general goods store where she was. I know I had it in my hand at that time, but when I came back here, it was gone. So, behind Mr. Renown's store, did you look in front of the store? Yep, he did. Um, Why? Aren't you a charmer? It seems like all the kids in this city are charmers. Well... I already asked the Bracer Guild to help find it, so I'm sure it will show up. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sure it will show up somewhere later. If you happen to come across it, give me a holler straight away. You have a bit of a B, but let's see. So you are here. Your mom. Oh, hello. Uni. Looks been like that since this morning. Why are simple? So simple minded. That's true. So, um, I am Cassius, yeah, still playing Cassius, okay, yeah, 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 uh, I'm gonna look for this rock a little bit, just kinda wanna see how some of these things might work, the room from the store, like, how many places could it? Maybe someone found it, and that's the thing. Uh, if someone just 
found the rock. Found the rock. Get the birds found it. Damn birds. No, this is not the right store. This is the right store. Okay. Uh, it dropped in the thingy. Wonder what that would be, huh? Looks like something must have fallen through. The sewers? Don't tell me you forgot about the sewers already. You know, the smelly monster infested place? Oh, so I need to go there to get the rock. Yeah. The interest of the sewers should be just behind the chapel. You're interested in what's down there? Yeah, I'll do that. I know it's not the father thing, but... I'll do my own thing, okay? Do what I want. Behind the chapel. Where is the chapel again? This is, ch this is the hotel. Chapel... No... God. Where is the chapel? Oh, remind me too. Check them. Hmm. This looks like a chapel. Hmm. Enter the sewers. Yeah, let's go. Hmm. I'll make my own future. Full HP. Oh, Jesus, they come out of nowhere. <laughs> Alright. Nice. J Is it because I'm attacking from the front? But I can't really... If I move... I'm gonna be attacking bef before the monsters, but after the monsters. That doesn't happen much. And uh, I don't want to overcap on my CP, so... Craft... This is everything, this is just a bit. I don't know if it's really a good strategy to not to try to not overcap on the CP. Um, my thinking is that if I use the big skill, like if I have to use the big skill, and okay, and that uses all of the CP, which is my understanding, then I kind of want to be as close to 100% as possible. So if I get to 100%, I, I, uh, I use the smaller one. Um, Okay, this is weak to fire, right? But since I have... Seems to be weak to everything, so... No, no, this is weak to magic in general. Not too far from leveling, that's good. No. Oh, hit me from behind, isn't it? It did not. Art... Let's do a fireball. And you... Ah, Jesus, it's not worth it. Because they're gonna, all gonna attack before me. I'm gonna do a good old smack. Yeah, that's more than good enough. That's fine, but I'm gonna be attacked by this guy now. What's that? Oh, it's a CP above 100, okay. <laughs> What, one thing that I might do is do this side quests off camera so it doesn't det detract from the story of the game and doesn't make the playthrough too long. And if one of these uh, side quests happen to be really fun, I'll keep it in the video. This one is going to stay in the video just because the first time I'm doing it. Oh. Yeah, this one is gonna stay in the video because it's the first time I'm doing it, but for the next ones I might do it off camera. Fragments Quartz, huh? Now we know why it was shining so much. There was a stun for the guy? 
This is made of septum too, right? Let's talk about it later. Any place. But this is the kids one. Any person would want to stay here any longer than they have to. Yeah, but... I guess I'm not a normal person. XP! I'm almost leveling. My jace. Hmm. It's fine, attack. There's a healing thing very close to here anyway, so I feel safe enough to just attack. Especially if he's gonna crit like that. You know, I really want a ranged character. I wonder when we get a ranged character. Almost leveling. Okay. I'm just gonna level off camera. Just get this last level and then we meet again very soon. And here we are. Also, I just learned that if I am targeting a monster and that monster dies, um, the character targets the next monster. So that's good to know. It's I was trying not to double up on attacks, but this might be a good thing to do just in case the first attack misses. Anyway, let's get out of here. I'm all leveled up. Let's do this real quick. Oh, the all respect. Okay, I got the rock. Stuck to that kid again. Hey, 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 is that rock? Could it be that? This is the rock we've been looking for? Why is it all dirty like this? Because I dropped in the sewer, man. <laughs> like, thank you? You guys are racist, right? So is this your job, as you're gonna say, Charles? Where you paid your money to the guild? Before? I think <laughs> I'm trying to come. It's not the problem. Mm -hmm. Cheeky bastard. Come on, Estelle. This is just a kid. Cheeky one of that. I know that, but... This part is what you were looking for, right? Sink on part is... Um, yeah. It's the same kind of quartz made of sepith. It's chipped, so it doesn't function anymore. I see. The dessert room to, to an ornament. What's wrong? It's a bit out of it. No, James. Oh, it's nothing. I'm glad you found it. I guess that's about it then. It reminds me. Must have got here. Take this. Drill meatball. Where'd you get those from? Okay. They're kind of bitter, so I can't stand them. Appreciate you did. So if I eat them, I learn how to make them, right? Yeah. The way he was searching for that quartz. Well, there was something that they think is important. Exactly. True words couldn't be spoken. Perhaps that kid has some interest in the ornaments. I, for one, don't see what's so interesting about those overly complex gadgets. My brain goes numb just thinking about them. Same, and I'm the one who has to do them for you, Estelle. Uh, except for the fact that you'll have to get used to them sooner or later. First, Cassius breaks the fourth wall. Now, Joshua! I feel attacked. You won't be able to fulfill your job as a bracer if you can't use one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't finish the game either, right? That's what you're saying. All right, all right. I'll try and learn. Complete it. I should report this. Hello. Hmm. You've gone away from business for business and went back for a while. Is that so? Ugh. This is was the one I was most focused on. Just wait. What are you talking about? <laughs> the change in style had expressed himself as a characteristic bow, aside from the typical Joe. 
There's no doubt he'd be popular on a whole new level too. Uh, Claire? Uh, how old are you again? She's a precocious one, isn't she? Yeah, what about you? It was a bar. Unbelievable. Came all the way here just to find I wasted all this time for nothing. Can't find any buyers. And the shops are bigger cheapskates than I thought they'd be. Yeah. Word, Redmira. I guess it's safe to say that the backwater... That backwater places will be always backwater places. It's literally really making me, me angry. Yeah, don't... Don't talk about my place, my city like this. Huh? I'm not supposed to be. And again, I really don't care who you are. I'll give you a deal. So how about you buy something? What? Will one of those wood carvings work for you? I'm gonna find... What is... I'm gonna find a fine workmanship like that, like this outside of Calvard Republic. Calvard sounds familiar. Is that the fame, some famous store or something? The Calvard Republic is a country to the east of the Liberal Kingdom. Someone studied. Uh, I knew that. So, Calvard made four craft items. Are you selling? I'm sure you'll find a lot more people willing to take them off your hands if you went to the Royal City. So, you think so? I already thought some place, some place in the boonies. <laughs> She's not gonna like that either. Uh, like this would be the one, to, uh, would be a taker on this. But maybe it was wrong. Yeah, the anger meter is rising. Oh well. I guess I'll try heading to the grand cell sooner rather than later. Stop using words I can't read, Jesus. And again, what is my son Charles up? To? Oh, you're. That's when I thought I could get some help out of him. He ups and wander off. Okay. I'll try it into Grand Cell. Then again, maybe it's over. Okay, it's repeating the same thing. Let's go to the bar. Probably too young to be here. Hmm, I wonder if I discovered a new load while we were discussing the business. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Okay. Simon? Yeah. Or Simon? Even though she's just being facetious, she's still completely right about Roland's resources. She has a very good eye for all kinds of commodities. Talking about the lady outside, no? So far, taking her first step as bracers, huh? Your name's already being mentioned among the customers. <laughs> really? Roland may be, the, may be in the country, but we've got some famous people here like Cassas and Sharon. Now, I just wonder how you're going to break into those big leagues. She's already nervous enough, you don't have to do that to her. Yeah, please don't put so much pressure on me. I knew it. Okay, what can I buy from you, babe? What can I buy from you, dope? Yeah, I'll buy this. Yeah, now I don't have to make it. Shop. Mmm. Tried an olive oil lightly salted. This is 215 Curious Poison. Curious Poison, never a bad thing. And this one... Curious Blind. And then French Fries. Give you a moment. Chef suddenly said something about changing his supplies. I received a message from the Perzel farm saying they would be able to sh Okay. I wonder what could have happened at the farm. Yeah, we'll find out right now as I start to make my way there finally. So it's to the west. Cool. Let's finally go. Ah, jeez. Yours. Does it? Does it use everything? Yes, it does. Pow! Okay. I love this combat uh, theme.
And th I appropriated this one as the ending one. For the videos. Yeah, it's really not Pokemon. Plant camouflaging. Okay. Is there Let's go where I need to go? I'm guessing the farm is somewhere this way. Surprise you. I really don't like this thing, so I am going to you could see who they are targeting. Um but yeah, I'm capped on EP, so let's do that. Ouch. I really want a ranged character. Bam. The leveling is very slow, apparently. Or maybe just in this first area. Oh ho ho ho! there what I didn't even see you what are you I feel like I should have healed oh is it like a silver slime mm, let me save the game because uh, we also have a backup here okay. Oh, what are you? Oh, you again. Okay. So, I can use dual strike on this guy. Let me see. If... Yes, I can use fire here and attack straight away. Now it's me again. And I'm basically capped, so I'm gonna dual strike again. Oh, this thing, this thing is strong. Um, can't attack. Now, if I use a spell, that doesn't matter. What if I just move? No. I'm gonna be attacked anyway. It's fine. This thing really hurts, though. Yeah, regular attack should suffice. So you need to kind of be careful, there are some mobs, like that one, that attacks me. Yeah, you're back at them. So blur, and will I be able to attack? Yes. Let's attack the same one because, as I learned, there's no real negative bit of doing that. Yeah, that's good. Because now Aqua Blade will finish it off. 
and I can deal with the other one straight away with a dual strike, which is not gonna kill, it's gonna do a good amount of damage. I wonder if I should be buying... Yeah, like as I said before, I don't really love straight up buying all the items from the shop because I like the excitement of having, having drops and finding them in the world. But if I start to struggle, I will buy uh, items from the shop. Give me all the set with. I like how I didn't instantly arrive at my death. You are different. I almost didn't notice, but you are different. Large monsters for all zone of the mon- Okay. I see. Let's see what the story here is. Like a little boss fight, no? Okay. It is a little boss fight, I think. I need to heal. That's what I need to do. Mm, but I will heal through her. No way this thing is gonna do 77 damage to me straight away, right? No way. So. I was weak to fire. So maybe I want to just heal like this. It'll be fine. Because I can just buy more of this. I heal like this, and now Firebolt. Mm. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's a very strong aim. I bleed. Ooh. Okay, that next move is gonna be very risky. But I wanna ser serve it. gonna heal next move. If I heal... Okay, I can get it off before I get attacked. And I still heal from the mob. Okay, it's doing something annoying. It's the soul blur, maybe you get the debuff on it. Should die now. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I should have used one of these. No really focus that any attention on myself. This could have been a good starter. Uh, I might do that next time. Oh, the. Hmm. Now he doesn't get XP. Jesus! How do I? God. Okay. Reviving bomb. Didn't think of using this so early. Oh my God, Armin! Please tell me I can heal through you. That was insane. I kind of need to heal, though. I was not expecting that at all. Strength plus 5%. For how long? Let's use both. Bird Bridge. Am I still going the way? Um. Okay, I'm just gonna continue going west. Oh, 
Oh, I think I'm going way too far. I just need to keep killing the monsters here. Okay. Finally found this, uh... It's hard to imagine monsters running amok here. So I need to find monsters here, right? I certainly don't sense anything out of the ordinary. Anyway, let's go ask someone here to fill us in all the details. I wonder if Tio is home today. That would be good. Is there a new character that I can use? Let's take a look. I would love a healing place. That would be amazing. Share. Oh, Joshua, I still... Hey, Share. How have you been? You know where your mom and dad are? They're not home right now. Just outside if you want to talk to her, though. You are? Will. Joshua! Want to play with me? I had the time, but I'm afraid today I'm here for work. Work? It's no fun if you can't play. Yeah. Maybe later if there's time. The kids do like Joshua. Seems like a really sweet boy. Okay. Hmm. Is it tomatoes? Or pepper? Can't tell. How about you? Still can't tell, it's like a pumpkin? Weird. That's more like pumpkin, no? Hmm, maybe this will tell me? No. Okay, chickens. Hey, are you Tio? Hey, Tio! It's been a while, hasn't it? Still? Joshua too? Did you guys come for a visit? Not exactly. We're here in Bracer Business. She says it proudly. We heard that we've been having some trouble with monsters. And we're here to deal with them. Explain everything. You finish your training? That's wonderful news. Yes, it is. Maybe you can help me after all. So, there really aren't monsters giving you trouble? Regrettably. That's been the case for the past several days now. Where are they? Hmm? I see a mouth right there. Look on the right side. Thanks to which, I'm suffering from a lack of sleep. Which means the monsters only came out at night. Yeah. Here's a smart one. Um, it'd be better if you got all the details from the father, though. Imagine he should be back from delivering the milk and vegetables any time now. Okay. Oh, there's a shiny thing here. I saw something shiny. Am I going crazy? Hey, Moo. <laughs> of course. Milk jars everywhere. Hey, Tio. So you're not gonna fight with me. You're not my ranged character. My interest in you diminished a little bit. It's gonna invade your privacy. Meanwhile, it's gonna run around in your room and well, run around in the other room and then run around in the last room. They have three bedrooms and the living room. There they are. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mr. Pretzel. That's what I'm gonna call them, and I'm sure more people call them that too. It's like Charizard. How is everyone getting on these days? Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. What brings you to our neck of the woods? Did you come to see Tio? We were actually just chatting with her outside. To tell the truth, we're here on... We're here on errand today from Bracer Guild. Blah 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 blah. Is that so? Don't you think this job is a little dangerous for the two of you to handle? Girl, I've killed rats and bugs. Have you killed rats and bugs? Don't think so. 
I agree. It, it feel terrible if one of you were to get hurt. Don't sweat it, we're bracers after all. I'm thinking of monsters is right up our alley. The guild has even authorized us to carry out this task. If you wouldn't mind leaving it to us, we'd be more than grateful. Hmm. Well, alright then. Go ahead and have at it. Thank you very much, Mr. Pretzel. Then, could you tell us a little bit more about the monsters? Haven't been able to get a clear look at one yet, but they seem to resemble something like a chubby cat. <laughs> so they're rabbits. As far as I can tell, three or four appear at night and raid our field, gnawing on anything they can get their grubby little paws on. They don't seem to be threatening exactly, but they're extremely nimble. Tried many times to capture them over the course of the last several nights. And then, and you think we can deal with that? Really? You think? What's up here? If it, you were going after them. Sounds like a pretty strange bunch of creatures if you ask me. Since they only appear under the cover of night, we'll have to wait here for, for it to get dark. Then how about taking a load off until then? Assume you'll be joining us for dinner too. <laughs> you betcha. You said a magic word. <laughs> See, I am Estelle. I'm basically, we think the same. Don't know if that's a great thing, but I think it's a great thing. I'm a huge fan of your cooking, Mr. Pretzel. I can't wait. You sure know how to please a woman who spends a lot of time toiling in the kitchen. And for that, I'll whip you something special that will live up to your expectations. Amazing. Oh, that was delicious. Your mom's cooking is so good as... Mama, mama, blah, blah, blah. Your mom's cooking is as good as ever, Tio. Ha, ah, that's because she gets excited to cook whenever we have guests over for meals. It'd be really bad for Joshua, though. With the little ones jumping all over him like that. Ha, <laughs> ha. It's probably a good thing. Surprisingly enough, kids tend to, lot to latch on to him a lot. True. If anything, I'm more blown away by the fact that the children enjoy playing with such a stick in the mud. Hmm. I think it's a bit of an over-exaggeration, don't you? He's definitely Curtis, and maybe even a tad reserved, but... I get to know him, he's a really caring young man. You know, how do you know that more than Estelle? <laughs> they lived together for five years. The fact that he's not self-conscious about it, too, gives him points in my book. Someone has a crush, and also she has black hair as well. I thought her black hair was rare. She doesn't have the amber eyes though. You really think so? Think about it. It was striking facial features, mysterious amber eyes, and lush black hair. She's so into him. So natural that he'd be a target for all of the young girls. <gasps> Is she really that popular? Are you blind, Estelle? Rumor has it that more than just a few girls have asked to go out with him, and he has said no? What a chat. I hear that he turned them all down. See? Yeah. He has to sights on something else. Maybe he doesn't like the same fruit? I don't know. I, I, I had no idea. Joshua never said a word to me about it. I don't know how I should even begin to describe his secretive nature after hearing this, but how utterly cruel of him not to confide in me. Exactly. Yeah. If you were a boy, I imagine it would be a different story, but as a girl, I don't think that's something he would talk to you about. And the fact that you haven't fallen for him yourself is beyond me. They're kind of siblings. It's kind of weird. Huh? Why would I? Exactly. No. Is she going to be blushing? It's about time to do a round. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming. I'll be back after Joshua and I get the job done, Tio. By the way, Tio means uncle in some uh, Latin or Roman languages, which is kind of funny that this girl is an uncle. I'd like to continue this conversation then, okay? Oh, alright. Careful out there, Estelle. 
that 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 girl she's either completely out of touch with matters of the heart or just plain dance or joshua really what joshua likes her is that what she's implying well i guess they're not really siblings but he does call cassio's dad Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you think about that. Seems as though the monsters always show up about this time. We better get outside and take a look. Right. Grr. Why is she angry? What's going on? I'm gonna ask Joshua. Hmm. You don't happen to have any secrets you're not telling me about, do you? Uh, come on now. Where are you coming up with this kind of stuff? Since you came to live with us, we've always done everything together, right? Even though we've had our fair share of fights, they're all good memories for me now and... What I mean to say is, I've come to think of you as family in every sense of the word. Still. So, if there's ever anything on your mind you'd like to talk about, I'm available to lend a ear. You know, about things like... She's gonna blow it now, isn't she? Trouble with your love life and whatnot. <laughs> what are you trying to say? No, no, nothing. Just wanted to let you know that I'm here to listen if you need someone to talk to. That's all. Let's hurry up and get out, out of here so we can kick some monster butt. Exactly. <laughs> what kind of nonsense is still putting? Yeah, let's talk. Secrets, huh? Okay, he is into her. Maybe those love stumps, maybe those love stumps that she gave him in the beginning of the game did it. She stamped her, her souls on his head and heart. Wow, it's really dark out here in the countryside. Yep, you can see the stars. So Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. How about we start by checking around the house first, then move to the fields, stable and greenhouses. We should be able to cover the entire farm by doing this way. So house, fields, stable and greenhouses. Alright, let's go! So happy. Just skipper. I'm just gonna start off but by not doing what he said. Get around the house. I need to click on stuff. Run! Okay. Greenhouse. Hmm. Dot dot dot. Should have figured monster wouldn't bother coming in here. The glow of armaments sure give this place romantic ambience. I've a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It makes me feel like it was all worthwhile just setting foot in here. It definitely is. <laughs> it's still. This is better than being danced like someone I know. Who's the dance one? I'm just gonna check the next one anyway. Nothing. Okay, stable first. I agree. Hmm. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. No monsters here. Alright, let's keep moving. Why can't they go through here? Psst, look! That is. <laughs> Another rabbit that they're calling cat. Meow. I'm gonna do my Morgan impersonation. Meow. Okay, I'm never doing it again. It ran. It's getting away. Get back here, you little furball. Let's go. So sense is How do you sense? Like it's the second time I think. He uses the word sense. Is it something that he can do? I'm saying put it on the farm for the moment. Well, good. It's about. To Caught. Ah, did I miss it? It wasn't there. And it. Oh. Ah, it's too bad. It's gonna destroy the sneaker. 
sorry I'm going to catch a little bugger next time I see it. Okay, so do I need to kind of be very slow and go from behind? And that's why I didn't run away before. Okay. I'll sneak behind it. Yes. Gotcha. I got him. It's time to teach this critter a lesson. Here's where our job really starts. So stay alert and don't let your guard down. Please tell me I'm healed up. Yeah. Oh, look at the long boy. There's two short boys and a long boy. Way, 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 way. Why does the long boy have a 50, 50 attack plus? It's not good at all. So, if that's the case, I could maybe try to faint it straight away, no? Why not? Let's try it. And you are gonna use your craft to increase our strength. Come on. Oh no, the spell is gonna be before it attacks. Hmm, I didn't do this well. Playing that, does this cancel my attack? Oh, I didn't move, it's fine. Faint, 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 faint. Ah, it's gonna die. It's fine. Oh! I honestly thought it was going to be much harder than that. If I try to cast again, yeah, it's a good one. And you, lady, are going to attack this guy who's not pretending he's dead. You finish off the long boy. See you. How do they say this is a kid? How? Chubby Cap, this is clearly a rabbit. This game has no idea what animals are, man. Hit it. Hit it. Nice. Quite enough, huh? Debunk. Oh yeah, I'm overcapping, so craft. Do a, do a bunk. Well, I guess he's a, the dagger, so it's more like a... Why are you pretending you're dead for? I'm capped on this, so I'm going to Aquablade it. Well, I guess uh, if it survives that. Oh my god. I really think I should invest in some augments for uh, attack chance or hit chance. I could be. I could see a lot of damage being lost in a, in a boss fight or something like this if I keep uh, missing. Oh yeah, level six. Look at that. Thirty carrots. <laughs> My goodness, the work of a bracer is something else. See, you were, man. You were thinking that. <laughs> you think you weren't up for the task, huh? Little did you know. And why is the girl hiding behind him? That's kind of cute. The kids have done a fine job of rounding up the critters. Is that because she's into Joshua as well? And she's hiding behind him, like picking? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's cute. Hehe. <laughs> There's nothing really. I wanted to ask you though. Now that they've been caught, what do you plan on doing with them? I don't think they cause any trouble. They really have to. Yeah, don't. Don't let. Come on. They're gonna be our helpers. They might eat a couple of carrots. Would have given this critters a good trashing. I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. So, how's that going to benefit anyone if we show these creatures any mercy now? We're here to do a job and exterminate the monsters, remember? Yeah, but they're cute. Like, so, you know? Cute? But, but. In case, we're here to place. We're here to do a job. On, in Dad's place. The same thing happens again. What will you have to say for yourself? Stop making sense, man. I see what you're getting at, but. Tut, tut, tut. You know, it was only some vegetables that they were that were damaged. So, what do you think about letting it slide this time? You know, after taking a beating like that, I'm sure they learned their lesson. 
to you, Mr. Mrs. Pretzel. But in this case, I strongly suggest otherwise. I myself am against killing them too. Is that man? Yeah. Whether it's us or them, the fact of the matter is, we're all living beings trying to survive on the same land. I see, Joshua... Joshua's pragmatic. Right? I don't... I'm trying to... I don't think he... Like, has no feelings or no empathy or something like that. I just think he's trying to prioritize and to kind of... He's not playing risky while everyone else is empathizing more, I guess. We're all living beings trying to survive on the same land. To some degree, I think we need to be mindful of these creatures living around us as we go about our daily lives. I know you may disagree with me, Joshua, but would you mind sparing these creatures just this once? Uh, you're kind of the one paying me, so... Look. Uh, dot dot dot. Understood. Since this is coming from the ones who suffered the actual loss, I won't object to your request. See? I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. I know I had you to come all the way up here. I'll make sure to reinforce the fence and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. And that's that. Alright, you critters, you better count your blessings. If you catch around here again, you won't be so lucky this time. Now, scram! Miguel. We consider this matter closed. Tonight's been a long night. So how about we head back to the house and hit the sack? Two of you are more than welcome to spend the night. Sounds good to me. If you give me breakfast. You know. Treat your hospitality. Conveniently, they had a third bedroom. Man, I'm beat. It's really late, so how about we hit the sack? Dot dot dot. Joshua? What's wrong? Is it time for us to talk about our sibling ship? I'm sorry. I made a situation really awkward for everyone. Why? For being pragmatic? What are you talking about? I swear it, I guarantee nobody thought anything of it. Really, your judgment was the most sound of anyone's. It wasn't... I'm just cold-hearted and indifferent as all. So, if you were indifferent or cold-hearted, you wouldn't be thinking that. You are pragmatic. That doesn't make you a bad person. Even now, I still think we shouldn't have shown any mercy and simply put those creatures out of their misery. Unlike you and Tio, I don't feel any compassion. Well, you're just not cut out to be a vegan, I guess. Dot dot dot. Times like this, that. It's a time like this that I really begin to loathe myself. It's almost as if there's something wrong with me as a person. <laughs> Maybe some part of my heart is broken or something. I really am curious to know what happened in his past, man. Punch him. Joshua! Don't you dare say things like that about yourself. Uh, I've watched almost everything you've done for the past five years. And I'm confident in saying that I know your strength and weakness is better than anyone else. Yeah, like kids and stuff wouldn't love you if you were a bad person. Probably even more than yourself. I think both of you know the other one better than themselves. And this is one of the things I'm really liking about the dynamic of those two protagonists. Dot dot dot. I won't allow you to allow you to disregard everything with a bunch of nonsense. I don't even I don't ever want you to hear you say you're broken again. Dot dot dot. I'm sorry. It was foolish me Fool. It was foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what I said, that's what really matters. Dot dot dot. She said with conviction. Dot dot dot. But, you know what? Believe it or not, I was happy to hear you admit how you felt. Exactly. 
if you were like a cold heartless monster you would not even feel bad about it you would be thinking that those other people can't see reason you know and it would be the beginning of your villain arc unless this is the beginning of your villain arc question mark why your real problem joshua is that you always try to keep your feelings locked up inside whenever you're troubled or worried just go around with his nonchalant look and try to fix everything by yourself. It's a little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. Dot dot dot. Still, I... Joshua, you were able to lay bare your own weakness today. You learned to trust in someone other than yourself. And for that, I am happy. I, I don't know what your point is, but I'm amazed that you can just stand there say something as embarrassing as that. <laughs> ha! We've got a whole lot more where that came from. But now, how about we call it a night? After all, this endless running around, I'm really ready to drop. Alrighty then. Have a good night, Estelle. And thanks. You're welcome, Joshua. Slip tight. Thank you both. It is a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. Please don't worry about it anymore. We're able to learn a lot from this experience ourselves. If there's anything else we can help you with in the future, please let the Bracer Guild know. That will definitely be the first place that we contact. Come and visit again sometimes when you're free, okay? I'd love to have you over for the night again, when things are convenient for you, I'll treat you to some of my best cooking next time. Thanks for the invitation to you and, Miss, and Mrs. Pretzel. We'll definitely come back to take you up on that when our work load settles down. Alright. Alright, how about we head back to the guild? After the report is won, we can start on the next one. Sounds like a plan. And Conveniently enough, I kind of did the other quest already, I think. Of killing the monster over there. I think I did, if it was just one monster. Sounds like a plan. On to the next one! Ba -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Ah, man! Why get it? Ba -ba 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 -ba. This thing is hurt, dude. You know what, little thing? I'm gonna attack you. There's this exclamation mark. But what is that? Okay, in that case, I'm just gonna attack normally. I don't want to know what that is. Oh, it's a critical one. I haven't been paying attention. Well, it feels like leveling is so much faster now. Maybe because the boss fights. Or maybe the XP is ramping up. I'm gonna make my way back and grind on the way. Let's see. Alright, finally back to the city. Two of them and not a lot of new ones. Okay. Good morning, how did the job of the farm go? Hmm, a few bumps on the road, but let me give you a brief report of the details. The pretzel farm. <laughs> nice. Current rank is junior. Mind yeah. So you ended up getting the monsters free because the Perzel family requested you to do so. I think this it was a premature on their part, but I won't pursue the matter any further. Is it okay to leave things at that? The mission of a bracer is to protect civilians and uphold justice. However, there are many ways we can protect those around us, and there are many forms of justice, as there are stars and heavens. As a bracer, it is your job to be able to discern those things. 
Indeed. Our work has very profound implications if you think about it in that way. It's because we aren't an organization that deals strictly with monster problems. We also intervene when disputes arise between nations. To become a high-ranking bracer, one must have more than combat strength. A well-honed mind and flexible problem-solving skills are also required, she says while closing her eyes. Sharp mind and problem-solving skill ability, huh? That's what you have, Joshua. Serious? The road of the big league sounds a lot steeper than I originally thought. Haha, <laughs> well, then your only choice is to devote yourself to working hard every day. And since you're both here, why don't I give you the details of your next job? Those are words that what do you want to hear. I'm ready for anything, so what have you got lined up for us this time? Another monster that needs a good whipping? Not this time. This next job will entail the transportation of goods. And get this. The client is none other than Mayor Claus himself. Really? Request from the mayor? Do you think it would be a right living such an important task up to us? From what I've heard, it's a pretty simple job. In any case, I'd like you to speak with the mayor directly about the job. It does. Okay, so there's a bunch of other quests to do here. Mushroom hunt, urban replacement, medic medical necessities, and soldier in training. What about the other report? Ah, report results. Find a shiny rock. Done. Done. Nice. Oh, I advanced. Nice. Eighth class. Received information. Quartz is per. Good work. Seems like you completed your objective without any trouble. Finish any other jobs. Please come back and report again. What does that mean? Um. Okay, this is great uh, for this episode. Really nice first mission as bracers. A little bit of self-learning as well from for Joshua, and I guess also for um, Estelle. Um, she opens up that she is there for him, and he opens up that he thinks he's a cold-hearted monster. Both of them have a lot of development to do. And it's really good to see where it's going so far. So, very excited to see. For now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.